Yeah, I'm Duncan Needing. Um, I'm currently studying or enrolled in a Masters of Social Work. For me, social work can be a way of, 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 of using, using skills you develop in order to be able to empower other people to um, get out of certain situations they may find themselves in. Vision loss is such a, um, subjective not the right word, but it's such a unique pers um, perspective for each individual. In between doing uni and, and, um, and, um, and finishing high school, I uh, had my vision, my vision degenerate and then basically it was a real bit of a shock because it happened in sort of less than 12 months and um, I had very quickly to learn how to use assistive technologies in order to access information. Um, and uh, it, that, that process was quite a um, steep learning curve, um, but I did have a degree of mentoring from other vision impaired and blind people that sort of helped me show by showing certain things. When my vision was first degenerating, I didn't know what I was going to necessarily have. Um, and um, I got a good piece of advice from um, the disability liaison officer down here, and he basically said, look, whatever happens, you should learn how to touch type and you should learn things on the keyboard because that is a good skill for anyone no matter what. So in terms of that, that was probably one of the best pieces of advice I got. So the first piece of assistive technology I started using would have been a computer um, using Zoom text to begin with and then as my vision continued to degenerate as it um, jaws and I suppose um, the, the, the two of them in combination is what I effectively use now or similar programs um, like NVDA, uh, which is called non-visual desktop access. I tend to use a, a number of other pieces of um, equipment um, which probably lap over between um, general life things and and study. The phone that I have, I can pick, um, pick up a piece of paper most of the time um, and take a photo of it and it will convert it to um, to spoken word and like um, it will it can, it can convert what would be an image of a bunch of text and get 95 98 percent accuracy I do have limited vision um, and it's something that I've sort of worked out when not not to use as much as possible but by the same token I can put some some piece of paper underneath a closed circuit television and maybe read a few sentences and um, you know that's probably you know, a handy thing to have sometimes but like it, um, it's also it, it doesn't mean that I would necessarily want to do my entire degree reading under a closed circuit television because my eye would want to feel like it would pop out but now I very much will try as much as possible to use the talking softwares on the computer um, to access electronic files um, and uh, so you know it's very important for me to get electronic files from, from my lecturers. I tend to listen to a lot of my texts using um, a little device called a Victor Reader and the Victor Reader you can put your textbooks or your, your um, journal articles or what, what have you onto them. Um, you can even put your lectures onto them and you can put bookmarks um, in them which is really really handy. I suppose for my advice for somebody starting university who's recently had vision loss or um, you know is, is, is adapting to a new scenario um, is for them to very much learn what technology is out there and, and realize that everyone's scenario is slightly different um, but you know have a look at what's around and also have conversations with other vision impaired or legally blind people because other people's experiences can very much help you learn not only how to use the technology but also the different techniques that they use in order to um, utilize um, such technology.